All right, going to go over connections for a power car or reproduction motor or a replacement motor. Uh, this is a 12 volt. They're also available in 6 volt. Three tabs on this end. One of them down here is for the pivot. You'll want a bushing behind there. This one up here on that position is for your ground since you always want to ground at that point. This point up here being a pivot is not a solid ground, not a good point to use for ground. On the back side, you'll have to come up with a pivot point on the opposite edge. Uh, here to allow the pivot to the back of the motor and of course the top one is for your spring load for the motor of course your v-belt will pulley will go on the shaft here and this excess shaft can be cut off at that point all right hopefully you'll be able to see all these marking correctly this terminal in the center is the battery connection okay this field uh, connection down here is for the brushes and the other connection up here is for the fields your ground goes to the actual chassis ground of the motor your battery positive connection always goes to there and how you get it to reverse direction is jumping from here to here and from there to there that'll reverse your direction so I'm going to try that now with the battery I got sitting here and see if I can demonstrate that for you all right for the purposes of this demonstration I've gone ahead and hooked this uh, positive terminal from the battery directly over to the positive terminal or the battery terminal on the motor itself and I've hooked the negative terminal from the battery over to a ground chassis ground on the motor now in the actual operation of the vehicle I do believe this goes through the starter or the uh, accelerator switch on the floor now over here I've connected this uh, lead that's way too small to the brushes end and by jumping it to the battery terminal get rotation in the clockwise low, uh, rotation going from this way now if I go down here to the fields with the same lead jump there it goes the opposite direction okay now this where yep counterclockwise that way clockwise this way All right, so that gives you your reversing rotation. That's, of course, going to be achieved by the uh, switch that's either mounted under the dash or on the floorboard of the